What's up guys, today we have a Dell Inspiron small form factor PC. This is what the front of it looks like. You've got the I.O. and then as well as the CD drive or DVD drive. This is the side and that's what the back looks like. So today we are going to take it apart, um, show you how to upgrade the hard drive, the RAM, CPU and um, remove the motherboard and everything else just in case you guys need to work on it. So the first thing we're going to do is on the back of the device there will be two screws holding in the cover. Going to remove those two screws. After you have that removed you can just pull on the cover here and it will slide right off. After you have that removed, you can remove the front bezel or the front cover. Now we're just going to pull up on these three tabs. And then the front cover will pop off. That's just a little bit of plastic. And then these plastic tabs are being held, holding it in place. So that's the front of the device. And so after we have that removed, we're going to remove two screws in front of this DVD drive. And then after we remove that, we have one on the very top here. Once those are all out, we can remove the cage. And then we're going to disconnect the hard drive power, disconnect the hard drive SATA data, SATA cable, which is carries data. And then we're going to disconnect the DVD SATA cable and disconnect the DVD's power cable. And they're also called SATA power or just SATA cables. Um, your hard drive's on the bottom here. Let's actually work with the hard drive first because where you already have it. So to remove the hard drive or to upgrade it, you just take your new one, plug it in those, into those connectors. But uh, to take the hard drive out, you're gonna remove these two screws here, as well as these two screws here, and it will slide right out. Then you can just pop a new one in and put those uh, connectors on and you're good to go. Same thing with the DVD drive. If you wanna upgrade to a DVD burner, which this one already has, Remove two screws over here, two screws over here. This thing will slide right out. You just put a new one in there, reconnect the tape cables, and you're good to go. So now that we have that out of the way, we're just going to disconnect the SATA cables from the motherboard so it's easier to work with. You don't need to disconnect these cables, but that's just easier um, for me to show in the video with less stuff going around. So you just pull straight up on those cables and they will pop right out. So the next thing I want to remove is this, um, basically this uh, hood or cover that gets it so the CPU vents right directly on the grill here. Um, we want to remove this plastic piece, you just pull up on it. just held in by some plastic tabs. Set that aside and now we can upgrade the RAM. To upgrade the RAM you just pull that down, pull this one up, you're just opening up the slots here and then you can pull out the old stick. This is a 4 gig stick and then once you have your new one you can just pop it right in here put it on a flat surface and then put some pressure on it, push it down, you'll hear it lock into place. The two tabs will lock in. So the dim or the slot that's closest to the um, CPU fan here, that is slot number one or dim one. So you always wanna use this slot first and then if this one's uh, full, you use the next one to put in your second stick. So we'll just remove that and set that aside. Now we'll remove the CPU fan so that if you want to upgrade the CPU or that's broken, you're just going to unscrew 
the four screws here. And so I'm doing this in a diagonal fashion just so that um, it puts less pressure, say, on one side of the board. And then sometimes I don't go all the way. So I'll slowly work it, my way around it. So you can see some of these are not loose yet. All right, so once this is free, let's see, where is the fan? Here's the fan connector. We're just gonna pinch on it. Pull it up, there's the fan connector. Heat sink, we could probably replace this with some new thermal compound. And here is our CPU. To remove the CPU, we're just gonna push this pin down, pull it over and out of the metal, release it, and here is our CPU. And notice there's an arrow pointing in this direction. Take note of that arrow. If you put a new one in, you wanna put that arrow in the same direction. And you also wanna be extremely careful not to bend any of these pins because you're probably never gonna get it straight again uh, no matter what you do and your motherboard's just gonna be done. So here's the CPU. Again, the arrow goes there. When you put it in, try to put it on a flat surface. Then you put that cover back on first. Make sure it's going underneath that screw. And you're gonna push this down and that's gonna lock it into place. There you go. So the next thing we're going to do is, um, uh, I'll actually say Wi-Fi chip because this one actually has one. So this is a Wi-Fi chip. You could tell because there's two antennas plugged in and actually on it, it says um, WLAN, WAN. So you could tell that is the Wi-Fi chip. And to remove that, or say you have a bad Wi-Fi chip, just gonna remove that screw pull the chip out and then remove these antenna cables. Be very gentle with this because it's very fragile connectors. There's your WAN chip, Wi-Fi chip. Set that one aside. We're just gonna reroute the cables out. These are just your antenna cables. It looks like it's going to the front of the case. So the antenna for the Wi-Fi, one there, one there. And now we'll remove the power supply this is your processor, power supply, or power uh, connector. This is your main motherboard power connector right here. Just push down and then pull up on it. All right, once you have those completely removed, we're going to remove three screws on the back holding in the power supply. Now we have one more screw right in front of the power supply, right here. And now we can slide the power supply forward and try to wiggle it out. And it seems to be a failure because we should actually remove the motherboard which is restricting us to remove the power supply. So to remove the motherboard, we're going to disconnect the front I.O., the front uh, USB audio jack, SD card reader, and this is these two cables here, as well as one cable back here. Now you're just gonna pull straight up on these. And then this is, let's see, the power switch and power lights. Remove that. And the motherboard is held in by six screws. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once we have all those, or six screws removed, we can lift up on the motherboard, and then pull. We're gonna lift the front side up and then pull it this direction because the IO is um, kind of tucked in there. And then just be kind of gentle with it. But here is the motherboard. There you go. So we'll set that aside. 
And then again, we have the power supply loose already. So now we can just, it's a little tight, but there you go. There's the power supply. So that's gonna wrap it up for the disassembly on the Dell Inspiron small form factor PC. Um, this is just the case now. You can, well, generally we don't ever replace these unless they've gone bad, but uh, very simple. They're just held in by two screws or something like that. But that's gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. Please hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel. Check down below for um, links on tools or hard drives or this computer um, if you're interested in any of that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching.